each in history and culture. I hope you will get some time to explore the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Mamalapuram with its inspiring stone carving and great beauty. It is a must-visit destination. Friends, let me begin by quoting from Tirukural, written about 2,000 years ago. The great saint Tiruvalluvar says, Nedu Kadalurum Tanirame Kundum Tadin Tideli Tanananga Tagi Vidina. It means even the oceans will sink if the cloud that has drawn its waters up does not give it back in the form of rain. In India, nature and its ways have been regular source of learnings. These are found in several scriptures as well as oral traditions. We have learnt Pibanti Nadyaha Swayameva Namba Swayam Nakadanti Palani Vruksha Nadanti Satsyam Kaluvari Vaha Parob Karai Satam Bibutaya That is, neither rivers drink their own water, nor trees eat their own fruits. Clouds also do not consume grains produced by their water. Nature provides for us. We must also provide for nature. Protecting and caring for Mother Earth is our fundamental responsibility. Today, it has taken the shape of climate action because this duty was ignored by many for a very long time. Based on India's traditional knowledge, I will emphasize that climate action must follow until die. That is, we must ensure the rise and development of the last person in the society. Countries of the global south are particularly impacted by climate change and environmental issues. We need enhanced action on commitments under the UN Climate Convention and the Paris Agreement. This will be crucial in helping the Global South fulfill its development aspirations in a climate-friendly way. Friends, I am proud to say that India had laid the way through its ambitious, nationally determined contributions. India achieved its installed electric capacity from non-fossil fuel sources nine years ahead of the target of 2030. And we have set the bar even higher through our updated targets. 
टूडे इंडिया इज वन ऑफ द टॉप फाइव कंट्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ इंस्टॉल रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी कैपेसिटी वी ऑल्सो सेट ए टारगेट ऑफ अटेनिंग नेट जीरो बाय ट्वेंटी सेवेंटी वी कंटिन्यू टू कोलोबरेट विथ अवर पार्टनर्स थ्रू अलायंस इंक्लूडिंग इंटरनेशनल सोलार अलायंस सी डी आर आई एंड द लीडरशिप ग्रुप फॉर इंडस्ट्री ट्रांजिशन फ्रेंड्स इंडिया इज ए मेगा डाइवर्स कंट्री वी हैव कंसिस्टेंटली बीन एट द फोर फ्रंट इन टेकिंग एक्शन ऑन बायोडाइवर्सिटी कंजर्वेशन प्रोटेक्शन रिस्टोरेशन एंड एनरिचमेंट आई एम हैप्पी दैट to the gandhinagar implementation road map and platform you are recognizing restoration in priority landscape impacted by forest fires and mining india has recently launched the international big cat alliance for conservation of seven big cats of our planet it is based on our learning from project tiger a pioneering conservation initiative as a result of project tiger 70% of the world's tigers today are found in india we are also working on project lion and project dolphin friends india's initiatives are powered by people's participation mission amrit sarovar is a unique water conservation initiative under this mission more than 63000 water bodies have been developed in just about one year this mission is implemented entirely through community participation and aided by technology our catch the rain campaign has also shown excellent results to conserve water more than 280000 water harvesting structures have been constructed through this campaign in addition nearly 250000 reuse and recharge structures have also been constructed all this was achieved through people's participation and focus on local soil and water conditions we have also effectively utilized community participation in the namami gange mission for cleaning the river ganga this has led to a major achievement in the reappearance of the gangetic dolphin in many stretches of the river our efforts in wetland conservation have also borne fruits with 75 wetland designated as ramsar sites india has the largest network of ramsar sites in asia friends our oceans support the livelihoods to over 3 billion people across the globe they are a crucial economic resource especially for the small island states whom i prefer to call large ocean countries they are also home to extensive biodiversity therefore responsible use and management of ocean resources 
is of vital importance. I look forward to the adoption of G20 high level principles for a sustainable and resilient blue and ocean based economy. In this context, I also call on the G20 to work constructively for an effective international legally binding instrument to end plastic pollution. Friends, last year, along with the UN Secretary General, I launched Mission Life, Lifestyle for Environment. Mission Life as a global mass movement will nudge individual and collective action to protect and preserve the environment. In India, environment-friendly actions by any person, company, or local body will not go unnoticed. It can now earn them green credits under the recently announced green credit program. This will mean that activities like tree plantation, water conservation, and sustainable agriculture can now generate revenue for individuals local bodies, and others. Friends, as I conclude, let me reiterate that we should not forget our duties towards Mother Nature. Mother Nature does not favor a fragmented approach. She prefers Vasudheva Kutumbakam, one earth, one family, one future. I wish you all a productive and successful meeting. Thank you. Namaskar. Welcome.